Welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, the Egruleni Council is considering legal action following Speaker Ntabi Seng Shivenga's decision to postpone a sitting this week, which was scheduled to elect a new mayor. It comes after the successful motion of no confidence against Sivui Lengotwana. Action SA says the Speaker took a unilateral decision violating a council resolution to convene within seven days to elect a new mayor. To discuss this further, we're joined by Gauteng Cocta MEC Mzi Kumalo. Mr. Kumalo, good afternoon and welcome to Full View. Good afternoon to you and good, good afternoon to your viewers at home. No, it's a pleasure to have you with us. So Egruleni has been in trouble of late and now political parties say this inability to convene an elector mayor has created some sort of a power vacuum where there's simply no political oversight. What is Cocteau's view on the situation in Egruleni? Our view for status is that um, every time an executive mayor is removed from his position as an executive mayor that that pains us because um, it will mean that uh, the immediately there's a vacuum it means that there is no government in that uh, particular city you know that in terms of the current system uh, of uh, governance is that um, the executive mayor put together the mayoral committee and together they then become the government of of, of the day there now, with uh, the executive mayor being removed, effectively in Ekuruleni, we don't have um, a government. All we have is the city manager together with the team that uh, she's working with on interim basis to hold the fort uh, until such time that the executive mayor is being elected. Mm -hmm. Now, we understand as per the Municipal Systems and Structures Act that a mayor must be elected within seven days of the removal of the previous one. This hasn't happened, so where to from here? We are now being regulated by Schedule uh, 3 of uh, the Municipal Structures Act, uh, which uh, um, enable us to do the following things. Firstly, is that uh, correctly so, as you stated, once the executive mayor has been removed in the first instance, the council has got seven days to uh, elect the new executive mayor, and that seven days has already passed. It was supposed to happen last week on, on Thursday. However, the same uh, provision um, enabled the municipality to have another seven days at which the executive uh, council can convene and elect uh, the uh, executive mayor. So the Ekuruleni has that window of opportunity where we are now to can um, uh, remedy the situation and ensure that a council has been convened and that executive mayor is elected. But also the provision goes further and say that in an instance where the executive mayor is not elected by virtue of two candidates getting equal number and therefore stalemate, you, you still uh, 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 um, con give that particular council another seven days in order for, uh, for, for it to definitely ensure that at the end of the day, a executive mayor has is, is, is been elected. So in a sense, the council has got a window of an opportunity to can uh, comply but the inability to comply with the law uh, makes the council a candidate for a, a, a section 139 which is uh, either where a, a province can we can come in and say we partly dissolve them or we fully dissolve them at which instance if we opt for dissolve them fully it means that it means that we must then prepare for a fresh election in in in, in that uh, municipal mm -hmm. council and then um, yes a situation that uh, we, we we think we we don't really want to um um, um reach uh, because uh, that situation on its own um, would contribute towards um, a delaying of, of 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 service delivery because as meta stands there are matters that require the executive mayor to uh, execute and the members of mayoral committee to execute. It means that those matters uh, uh, are standing still there. They cannot be executed as such. And the people who are going to feed the brand are the communities around the city itself. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Kumalo, we know that with COCTA, you are circumspect and so far as your conduct is concerned. Uh, you don't necessarily want to prematurely intervene in situations where municipalities can still or the council can handle it. But in this instance, have you at the very least engaged council and established what exactly was the unforeseen circumstance that led to the speaker deciding to postpone that meeting? Do you have the facts around that? Well, as, as matter stands, a letter would uh, it's on its way to, to, to the speaker to seek more clarity because... Um, the reasons that were provided to us was that um, 
uh, exactly what you just stated uh, 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 as such. We don't have uh, specifications as to exactly what happened. You see, what the law envisaged, and that's a point we want to raise with uh, the municipality, the, 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 the law envisaged that uh, whatever the circumstances, a council should be convened, um, and rather it should be a council that says, given circumstances around this particular item, will not be able to proceed with this, but at least a council has been uh, convened. So, so, so that's the issue there. Uh, I'm sure the the, 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 the the speaker of council would be able to clarify themselves as to exactly what are those circumstances that went beyond uh, the uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as such. Uh, and, and our worries now, there are legal um, uh, threats that have been made and so on and so on. And we're saying to that municipal council, that on its own is not helpful because it's going to plunge the, the, the council in further uh, crisis as such. Uh, as, 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 as it has happened. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, but I, th I think also part of the biggest problem there are these challenges of coalition governments because people act more in interest of parties rather than in the interest of the residents when it comes to matters of coalition government. Uh, just look at how the executive mayor was uh, removed. The executive mayor was removed by a vote of 47 uh, votes out of a council of 224, which majority would be 118. The 47 people who have plunged us in this particular crisis will not be able by any uh, way or imagination to constitute a government there because you need 113 people to constitute a government if we strictly talk numbers. But so uh, Mr. They, Kumalo, just on that score, many could say that this was a democratic process to remove a mayor or any other political figure is a democratic process that if you voted there was a motion of no confidence and it was successful it was merely a democratic process we've got to be responsible in exercising a democratic process why would i plunge a council into in, into a crisis because i just have a democratic right to do so the point we're raising and 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 we've put together a mechanism in that regard we said to municipal council the particular executive mayors Here's a dispute resolution mechanism that we've established as Gauteng Province. We've drawn expect from different fields, and we said at the point you feel that a municipal council is reaching crisis proportions, let us attempt to use the, the dispute resolution mechanism so that the issue of motions of no, of no confidence becomes the, um, uh, uh, the, the actions of, 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 of the last resort. It should not be what we start with uh, every time they, they, there's, a, they, they, there's a crisis or there's, a, there's, there's a different views in council. But also you look closely at what the issues that have been raised in the contents of these motions of no confidence. And you can really see that these are matters that people could have sat down, uh, engage on them, and found solutions uh, around them. The point that we're making is that uh, uh, these coalition governments are making it difficult uh, for people to objectively deal with the problems uh, that are there in municipalities. So we cannot continue to have this kind of disruptions uh, taking place in, in municipalities because people who are going to feel the brand at the end of the day, it's nobody else but the residents of that particular city. Mr. Kumalo, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That's Gauteng Kokta MEC Mzi Kumalo.